Hey guys, welcome back to Closet Raid. We are doing a red carpet review. You know how much I love these videos. It is the AMAs 2021. We have to do, I, this was not planned. This was not a planned video. I'm gonna tell you exactly what happened. I was laying in bed, I was scrolling on my phone, I was looking at Twitter, I was looking at Instagram. I see my friend Nikki. She's on the red carpet. She's on the red carpet for the AMAs. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm PMSing really bad and I got emotional, like I'm gonna, cry right now like I'm so proud of my friends for doing amazing exciting creative powerful things that they've been wanting and to see them accomplish things like just Nikki and everything she's done with her music and also killing it on the carpet and like stepping it up in every aspect is just very inspiring to me like I love it I love to see people win I love to see people go after their dreams and I'm just you know it's just it's like that for me so with that being said I turned on my camera and we have wonky lighting we have wonky hair and makeup but you know what? We're going to do a red carpet review. This hoodie was gifted to me by Broken Promises. Shout out to you guys. Thanks. I'm comfy and cozy. So, okay, let me scoot over. I'm going to put the picture here. So, I'm scrolling through wire images, Getty images, you know, looking at all the red carpet photos. So, we're just going to go as we go, you know? Um, the first person who popped up is Jojo Siwa. Before we get into the video, I have a huge announcement to make. I am launching my very own jewelry collection called April J, and I could not be more nervous and excited. It comes out on Monday, so as you're watching this, it is definitely live and shoppable. It's all over, um, it is all over social media. I will link it down below, and I will also share some pieces at the very end of this video. If you guys want to check it out, it would mean the world to me. It's something I've been working on for a long time, and just me, like, I'm just, like, fiddling and, like, nervous when I talk about it because I'm so excited, and I just really want you to love it as much as I do and, like, be able to see you guys wear it would be so, it would be a dream come true. I'm wearing the Dolce hoops right now with my favorite ear cuff, the Whitley but but I don't want to like I don't want to make this too long so at the end of the video I'm going to show you guys more styles but let's get into this AMA red carpet review is Jojo Siwa and I never thought I would say this about her personal style but oh my gosh how sleek chic and timeless are you I love this uh, neckline on her I think she looks super beautiful it's still fun and young with the tool um, but she is just, she's beaming. She looks so happy. She's on Dancing with the Stars. Like, I don't know. Like, get it, girl. You know, I support this look. I'm here for it. Next up, I see Liza Koshy in this, um, poofy moment. It, it goes, woof. You know what I mean? Like, it just really says bell. And, um, I'm into it. I love the high boots with it. I love the high boot. I love it so much. I think it's fashion. She's giving me runway look. She's giving me high fashion. She went to the Mets. This is what I expect now, you know, like serve it and she is. So I have nothing to complain about. I think she looks gorgeous. Next, I keep scrolling. Boom, Nikki pops up. Gorgeous. Her body is banging in this. I love that she is showing her hips. Um, she talked a lot on her YouTube channel about how she was insecure about her shape and in her younger years, which every single girl can probably relate to, like 99.9% .9 of us at least. Um, but now she's like secure and I feel like that just like speaks volumes in general. Like I feel like she grew from being like unsure and insecure to this like bold, powerful artist who is just really confident in her skin. And it's so sexy. Her hair and makeup some point, her dress, is it a dress or a skirt and a top? I'm pretty sure it's a dress, whatever. It's so good. The colors are fun. It's unexpected. I love that she gives me unexpected. Like I love that I don't know what I'm gonna get from Nikki. That's one of my favorite things about when her pictures pop up on my Instagram. I'm like always like, intrigued and excited because it's always something new and she's always reinventing herself but it always feels authentic and new to her you did that i'm so proud of you i can't wait to see what 2022 has in store for you moving right along next i see olivia rodrigo and she's giving fairy princess i love this color i love that it's young and sexy and fun i don't like when it's like as serious but this was like so spot on and like happy when i saw it i smiled and i absolutely 
love this. I think she looks gorgeous. It's so simple, but the detail at the bottom just gives it that little pop that it needs to be kind of more youthful and fun. Cardi B, she's never afraid of fashion, you know? I feel like she is presented an idea, or she is the idea, right? Like, she's creative and kooky and kind of crazy, and, like, she just executes it, and she just commits and I appreciate that so much. I love when people are not afraid of fashion. Fashion should be fun. It should make you feel something. It should never be safe and boring or what's the point, you know? Here we have Bad Bunny in this like puffer jacket. We're gonna be seeing a lot of puffers all winter so this is very on trend. I like the powder blue. I like the look. I think it's really fun. Here is Jojo in this like silver sparkly kind of beautiful dress that I think is absolutely stunning i love how it's giving me snowflake holiday frosty like i think it just gives me those feelings and it just makes me happy i like the high pony with it i like that it's like it's trendy but also kind of simple and i like that it's both of those things at once i think she looks amazing okay here we have tate mcrae with these amazing sleeves she really did the sleeves and I'm a big sleeve person. So this is just right up my alley. It gives me like blazer dress and then the chunky black boot makes it a little bit more edgy. I just think that this look is so solid. I think a lot of people should do more sleeve moments on the carpet. I don't see enough sleeves on the carpet. Okay, next I'm seeing Ian Dior and I love this suit. I love that it's shorts. I like the, the, I like the high black socks the dress shoe, the, I don't know what the graphic says, but I like it. I like the red. I think it's just, this is such a solid look. I know with menswear, it can be a little bit hard to be super unique and do something other than just a plain suit. So I think this is a fun way to be unique and different, but it still looks really, I still take this very seriously. Like I like it. Okay, Becky G is wearing this like purple and black dress with cutouts. Uh, I think we're going to be seeing a lot of this. We saw a similar cutout kind of silhouette on Kendall Jenner. And I think we're going to just be seeing that shape a lot. I think it's really fun and just simple, like a fun little cocktail dress. This would be good for like a holiday party. So Rachel Ziegler, you kind of, Zegler, I don't know. I'm so sorry. I don't know how to say her name. Sold the show because I think this is so gorgeous and flirty and fun all at the same time. We saw so much of this style top throughout the entire summer, but then it's so cool, the skirt, the way it just tears out with the tool and it's the black and white. She just looks so dreamy and I love a poofy, princessy, magical, whimsical red carpet moment. I think it's just something that I will always love and I think she looks amazing with like the middle part hair. The whole thing just came together so perfectly. You killed it, girl. So those are some of the looks that really stood out for me. The 2021 AMAs. I can't believe it's almost 2022. I always love a little red carpet review with all my favorites instead of doing red carpet reviews how I see other people do them and how I used to do them where it was like best dress, worst dress, and like kind of putting certain looks down. I feel like why not just talk about what you love? So that's just been a new evolution on my channel. Um, and I'm happier that way. I feel like it's easy to like talk bad about someone's look and like put them down. I don't need that kind of energy on my channel. Let me know whose look was your favorite. I can't wait to see down below in the comments. I want to chat with you guys. I am i don't know why I'm so nervous to talk about this. It's just something that I really am super passionate about and have been working on for a while. So I created my very own line of jewelry called April J. It's available and up as you watch this to browse the shop. So right now I'm wearing the bubble bar ring. I love this ring so much. It's very me. Every piece in the collection is something I would wear 100% every day. So my big hoops that I'm wearing today are my Francesca hoops. And I love these hoops because they're super lightweight, but they're like a little bit bigger and statementy. Like today I'm wearing this full cow print set moment and these kind of make it pop with my long hair i like the bigger francesca hoops because it shows through it kind of gives it that little twinkle you know what i mean and then this is the whitley this is my favorite piece this little ear cuff um with a, a one singular pearl on it so i'm going to take it off and show you guys it's a very dainty piece and you can wear it up top 
you can wear it mid you can wear it under like just wherever you want you could buy multiple of these and stack them and wear like cool ear cuff like all the way down this is my naked necklace i called it that because it feels like nothing's on you sometimes you can't even see it because it's just so dainty and thin it's a staple piece for me so i don't take this off ever um and it's just very thin and light and kind of can it looks so cute with literally anything it's like such a staple again love you guys thank you so much for watching be sure to like and subscribe and i will see you in a new video very very soon bye guys